When you're using quality ingredients, you don't need to do a great deal to them, except perhaps arrange them beautifully, which is what I've done in this exquisite entree. Smoked salmon and quinoa timbal is a real showstopper, and like all my other recipes, it's very easy to make, or rather construct, that is. I'm using quinoa, which is a seed, not a grain, but it performs like a grain. It's gluten-free, it's a good source of protein, it's light, and it takes hardly any time to cook. So firstly, give it a rinse under cold water. I've got half a cup of quinoa in here. Pop that in a pan and add to that one cup of water. Now pop that on the stove and bring it to the boil. And when it's boiled, reduce the heat to simmer, cover the pan with a lid and cook it for 15 minutes. What makes this dish so special is the smoked salmon. And it's the quality of this ingredient that is all important. To ensure the flavor and not compromise texture, smoked salmon should be traditionally cured and not cooked and slowly smoked over red gum logs for up to 40 hours and never frozen. That's the quality you expect from this hue and smoked salmon. It's hard to check quality through the supermarket packaging, but do look for strong, consistent color with no sign of patchiness like this. When it's open, you can see that this salmon is firm and doesn't fall apart when it's handled. And don't forget, like fresh salmon, smoked salmon is an excellent source of long-chain omega-3 fatty acids. In fact, this dish already exceeds the Heart Foundation's recommended 500 milligrams of long-chain omega-3 fatty acids a day in one serve, and that's only 25 grams of smoked salmon. Now the quinoa is ready. So transfer that to a bowl, and you can see how the water is completely absorbed into the quinoa. Add to that one cup of grated telegraph cucumber, the zest of one lemon, a cup of chopped coriander, and a tablespoon of this delicious salmon caviar. Add some cracked black pepper, and give it a stir through. Now you can use capers instead of the caviar, but it's not just tasty garnish. In one small serve, there's close to another 240 milligrams of long-chain omega-3 fatty acids. So, that's the cooking done. The rest now is pure artistry. Now, you'll need a cutter like this. This one's about five centimeters deep and about six centimeters in diameter. And use the plates that you plan to serve the dish on. And pop the cutter in the center of the dish, just like that. Now spoon the quinoa into it, up to about one centimeter from the top. Now add a layer of this delicious smoked salmon, press that down, and a layer of cubed avocado. And add a few extra beads of caviar over the top. Now just gently ease around the inside of the cutter with a small knife, and then lift it up slowly, just like that. Voila. Now you just have to repeat that process four times. When they're finished, pop them in the fridge and you can sit down with your guests over a glass of champagne. It's an easy, light and nutritious starter that sets the tone for a terrific night. I hope you have fun making them soon.